Praise God today. Hallelujah. I hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day. It's been a tough week for a bunch of my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I tell you what, it's like when one of us struggle, a lot of us struggle and some of it, maybe some of us are not struggling, but I tell you what, it's one of those seasons it's been for me. It's been a tough season, but it's one of those seasons like God, you know, when everything seems like it's just lining up against you, it's like, in this, I'm going to be confident because I know God's doing something. I know God's always doing something. And, I, you know, some things I don't quite understand, but I'm thankful. One thing I do understand, if God before me, what can be against me? If God before us, what can be against us? Praise God this morning. Hallelujah. I'm just thankful for another day. You know, I'm very excited to wake up in the presence of the Lord this morning. I'm very excited to get up and spend time with him this morning and have time to spend with him. It's a blessing to be able to find that time. You know, that's a blessing. It really is. And how good God is, how merciful he is, how gracious he is, how <laughs> how I don't deserve or I could not earn what God has done for me. I'm just, I'm, I'm so thankful this morning for his mercy and his goodness and his forgiveness. I'm so thankful this morning for the blood of Christ. I'm so thankful for the new life, the new creature that I am, that God has called me to be, that God has raised me into this new life. And I'm so thankful for that. You know, he, caught, he, he raised me up in this new life and he's teaching me how to live it daily through his scriptures. And the Bible, it says, in the Bible, it says, King David says, let the word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I just want to encourage people. That's how we live this new life. <laughs> Praise God this morning. Um, I had a little verse for us to read this morning. And I'm going to let it sink in your mind. Uh, dear, uh, It's going to be 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. We ought to love our brothers and sisters in Christ. Even when we don't agree with them, I, I tell you, we're, we're supposed to love them regardless and pray for them and 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 and, 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 and esteem them higher than ourselves. We're supposed to. And I just want to encourage people this morning. There's no there's no stumbling in you when you're doing that. I just want to encourage you this morning, um, you know, to talk good about your brothers, no matter what they do, no matter who they are, to, to speak good of them. And, and, and to encourage them because it affects them more when you do that, those kind of things. And it protects you. It keeps you from stumbling. God bless you this morning. Jesus is the way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful this morning.